Former Metallica bassist Jason Newstead didn't actually want to quit the band. This according to the group's former therapist, Phil Tao. The award-winning documentary film Some Kind of Monster about Metallica's inner turmoil and their sessions with the therapist also chronicled the departure of Newstead. Tao, a former psychotherapist who worked with the band in January of 2001, talked on the Metallica podcast and Podcast for All about the chaotic relationship inside of Metallica at the time and Newstead's decision to quit. The therapist says he was specifically brought in to work with James Hetfield, Kirk Hammett, and Lars Ulrich on their relationship with Jason Newstead. He was asked if he thought that Newstead really legitimately wanted to quit, or if he just wanted to shock the other members by temporarily stepping down, which might have forced them to change their ways. Tao reportedly said, Have you ever had a fight with your wife? When we're fighting with our spouses or significant others or good friends or whatever, it's hard. It's easy to build up the animosity and the resentment when you're feeling uncomfortable. And I think that Jason, this is my secondhand knowledge, but I think that Jason, coming off of Cliff's reputation and the way that Cliff died so tragically, and that he was so instantly a replacement for Cliff, that he became what the guys would say a whipping boy. He was the way that they grieved unhealthily. And Jason, because he was so, like anybody else, so grateful to be a part of the band, never felt like he could quite make it. He was hazed to the point where I think it blew because he'd had enough of something. And when we've had enough of something, then it's hard to go to somebody and say, can we sit down and talk about this? No, it's F you. It's a straight head on. It's, this is what I'm pissed off about. So you have to ride that wave out. And because it was stunning and because the band had certain resentments, the rest of the band had resentments. These are cumulative effects. And the fact that they never talked out, this is what Lars would say. The whole never really took the time to talk out the issues they were involved in. Then this becomes an explosion. Then you have to pick up the pieces of it. I don't think Jason wanted to leave the band. I think he wanted to leave the reality of what existed. And this was the only way he could start to do something with it. And that triggered a whole bunch of things. That contributed to ultimately James months later going into rehab. It wasn't that exact fact, but if you look at the overarching life of Metallica, and you see that they were trashing each other in a Playboy magazine in that interview, and then you see a month later they come in, or maybe two months later they come in, January of 2001, I think, and there's this kind of animosity that Jason is acting out. He's the identified patient of the therapy, so he's acting this act, and then the fight ensued. As depicted in the documentary, Some Kind of Monster, Tal became heavily involved with Metallica on a day-to-day -day basis, and some members felt he was too involved. They eventually made the decision to let him go. That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe to Rockfeed for more breaking news and updates on your favorite musicians.